biddies, what is up? My name is Jared from Jerry Gaming, and we are back for episode 62 on how to build a modern city in Minecraft. A long time no see, guys. So, we are going to be doing more on this. So, basically, we're going to need three main blocks for the first big part of this video. We're going to need brick, oak, planks, and glass. So, what I need you guys to do, and what I am going to do, is... I am going to get speed potions, so swiftness potions, and now that I have that, I'm going to take this brick, like so, and I'm just going to continue to go all the way up. Now, the easiest way I thought to do this, and the fastest way for me to do this, and you guys could be more precise with this, is I am going to go ahead, and I'm just going to put in, okay, hold on, let me turn around, it's just not working for me, but I'm going to go ahead and just fill this whole thing in solid. Now, get you to generally know what I mean in a second so let me just get over here so we just did one layer and basically what I mean by this is I'm just gonna continue to go I'm not gonna map out the windows I'm just gonna fill in the entire back window and then I'm gonna punch out the holes later on and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do most of this video in speed build mode just to save you guys some time meaning that we can get more stuff done throughout the series as well so let me fly a little bit higher and I'm gonna go into speed build mode right now guys and when I am done with that I'll be right back to give you guys the next bit of information you guys need to complete your guys build thank you guys and I'll be right back
Okay guys, we are back, so what we need to do now is go ahead and look from the front of the build. Ooh, and uh, I should probably wait until the thing wears off, which is in 42 seconds, so I don't really need to wait. But basically, we're going to just punch out the holes like this. Now, I'm actually just going to turn off my camera for this part since it's just going to waste time. So, I'll be back when this is all done, and I'll give you guys more instructions when this is dull, all done and over with, guys. Brisbane's what is up I am back uh, so I have the whole windows all punched out so it took me I think a total of eight minutes or so just to do it didn't really take me that long so make sure you guys pause the video here and resume when you guys are ready giving you guys enough time to complete this task and uh, then just play when you guys are ready to go okay so for the people that are now ready what I'm gonna do is you guys are going to need glass and we're just gonna go ahead and just fill in this layer right here like we have done on the layer below. Um, so we're just gonna go all the way around placing glass in to these window slots. So make sure that you guys do do this. This is uh, quite important. I have a few things planned for this video and I'm trying to get them done. So like on task and trying to get it all fit in a nice easy video. And that's why I kind of cut out like me punching out the windows because I don't really think you guys need me to show you guys how to punch out windows or where to punch them out. Uh, but if you guys did not know, it was you know where the holes are uh, on the first layer since we already have them mapped out or marked out. So it was just quite easy just punching them out like a hole puncher. Um, like I said, it only took me about eight minutes, and it probably only took you guys eight to ten minutes. It was I think I calculated it in my head. It was like thirty windows six stories by five windows wall uh wide is 30 so six times five is 30 and then you know 30 times five and that's how many you have um which is 150 uh total windows which it seems like a lot but it's really not when you think about it um it 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 does but then like i don't know maybe i just been playing minecraft so long that i just know how to like go ahead and just do it really fast and get it over with um but like i said it probably only took you guys eight to ten minutes anyways but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of these windows off camera as well to save even more time for us so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now guys and just uh you know make sure you guys do that and it should probably only take you guys again eight to ten minutes maybe since it took me that many to punch it out, it should only take you guys that many to put them back in. So, I'll be right back in a minute, guys. Hey, Bruce Biddies, I am back. So, I just got the glass installed, as you guys can tell. I just flew up so that way you guys can see it. So, the next thing we're going to do is lighting and flooring. And this is where things get kind of uh, interesting. So, <laughs> this layer right here, right above the window... We are going to place wood now again i said previously that you guys are more than welcome to use any kind of uh flooring you guys would like to use so basically i'm going to go ahead and fill this in really quickly and then i will give you guys the next directions now this flooring is kind of like a repetitive method i like to say or more or less uh it also has gapping within the flooring now i don't think spiders will spawn i've played on survival before and spiders did not spawn within the gapping um but if you guys would like to be more likely to say that they would never spawn like 100 percent guaranteed never spawn i can show you guys how to do that as well and i'll show you guys how to do it for the first floor but i won't do it for the rest because i play on uh peaceful anyways and creative so it doesn't really bother me, plus my TV sound is always off. Why, you might ask? Because Minecraft music, I play the game like ten like for like 10 times a day for like hours on end, and it, it just irritates me after a while, so I just don't like the music anymore, so I just try not to listen to it. Um, so that's why, and I'm almost done filling in the first layer of the floor, and then we'll get to the more... Uh, more difficult stuff as we go along and it's not that difficult but uh basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys how to do one flooring and then i'm going to do the rest of it in speed build mode so that way you guys can see me doing it step by step and then you guys know how to do it as well 
but if you guys forget you guys can just watch the screen as I do the speed part which is actually really cool because I actually like Minecraft music when the speed parts going because it sounds really cool and I wish it was like that regularly and I all sped up and it I don't know it's just kind of interesting but um, just make sure you guys if you guys get confused just watch the speed part and that'll give you guys a good amount of information Okay, let me check. Um, yeah, we are really close. We only have I'm, my back's right up against the wall right now, so I only have this layer, the next layer, and then it's done. Okay, let me just fly up a little bit right here, so I can squeeze this in. Okay, so we're gonna be using these windows as markers. So basically, we're gonna do one level at a time using the windows as markers all the way up. And this will actually help us by uh, measuring. So I know right here, okay, not like that. Right here, there's three windows wide. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig it out by four. So that's four blocks long. And yeah. Actually, let's just go with five. I want to go with three by fives. Okay, so a 3 by 5 in that corner there, we're going to go over to this corner here. We're going to dig out right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 by 5 right there, so that's how it should look right there. I'm going to go directly in the middle right here. 3, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's a 3 by 5 right there. And then we're going to copy the same thing right over here. So 3, 2, three four five if you guys are confused why I'm saying three I'll explain it right now on this one so basically I start right here it's three blocks wide by one gap and then I say two so it's one two long then three then four then five that's why I say it like hold on I can't say it otherwise I'm doing it if I'm not doing it uh, I go three two three four Five, and that's just how the numbers came up I guess uh, in my head but basically that's what you do and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go right here in this middle window right here one like that that is directly in the center of this window and then if you go like that that is actually the map out of that window so see how it looks like there the window should be able to like slide right through it then one on this side and like that so that's how it should look and then you guys can use this one as a measurement and when you reach this line right here which is wrong because I accidentally placed in the wrong spot so basically like that and then you guys can go two three four five and then fly up and bam you know it's correct use it right here again till you see that and there we are so like that and bam so that's how it should look also what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some ones through here so this is like that so that's one wide by actually we could probably yeah let's just do that let's just fit um all them in there like that so we skip three right here and then do that I was just gonna do one but like I feel like that's not gonna be enough light first off and then secondly I'm like yeah it fits actually perfectly anyway so it's not like we have to change anything or recount anything at all to have this so that's why I'm just going to add it like that, make it a little bit bigger, adding more light into the build. Let me go right here and then right there. That's five and then bam, just cookie cutting it. And there we are. So that's how it should look if you guys fly up. And this is where it's going to get tricky. You guys have to remember what direction so I'm gonna look okay so basically it's that direction facing the hotel and the apartment complex and facing just a vast emptiness because you gotta remember what lines they go because you don't want them to like crisscross and go the wrong way because then later on we're gonna have some problems with some stuff okay so what I want you guys to do then is you guys are gonna get some glass and you guys are just gonna fill that in and I'm just having a horrible time with this right now Okay, you guys are just going to have to fill that in like this. It's the speed potion. I just can't do it. I hate speed potion when I'm trying to build. 
Okay. There, I got rid of it. And then, basically, you guys are just going to put in some glass like that throughout the whole thing. And make sure you guys are being careful when placing glass, especially in survival, due to the fact that you guys might have no, you don't have unlimited resources in survival, uh, especially on console. So once all the resources in the world are gone, that that's it, you know. <laughs> um, I actually ran into that problem when Minecraft on console first came out uh, because worlds were not endless. So basically, like once the sand was gone, that was it. Like we ran out of glass real fast. So we had to come up with other methods of it, and what we ended up doing was getting like, I think Silk Touch, and we broke glass with that, and like picked up all the glass in the buildings, and then like when the update came out with glass panes, we like turned them all into glass panes, which gave us a lot more resources, but yet again, we still ran out later on, because uh, we filled up the whole world full of buildings and the city and stuff like that, but that's another day to remember risk of what, how I used to play Minecraft. Uh, I don't ever play survival anymore now. Uh, I just don't enjoy it anymore. I mean, I probably would. I just don't enjoy it on console. I just find it very boring on console. PC is much more fun, especially with the um, servers and stuff like that, and playing with your friends. And there's like random people on that you get to meet. But basically, this is how it should look when it is all done. Then on top of the glass, and I mean on top of it, like literally directly on top, you guys are gonna place glowstone like so. I messed up. I accidentally broke a piece. And as you guys can tell, I don't know if you can see it, but like right here on this back wall, you can see it lighting up the darkness. And that's where I came in to say, um, I'm going to teach you guys how to make sure that no spider, 0% chance of spawn rate, will never spawn within the gaps of your floors. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that, but I already feel like I'm 99.9% .9 positive that this way, right here, without even doing the protective measures I'm going to teach you guys how to do, will also make it so you guys will not have um, problems with spiders. Now, if you guys really wanted to, you guys can make this an electric circuit, so you guys can put, instead of glowstone, you guys could also use the redstone and you guys can make lighting and stuff because there's actually enough room in here to put circuitry and stuff like that um, and also this whole building basically has enough room for it uh, if you guys don't know how to do it you guys can watch the hotel tutorial over again and that uses gaps within the floors so that way you guys can use that to your advantage and use that as a reference point oh sorry use that as a reference point on how to do it like this now if you guys this is the 100 percent guarantee nothing will spawn and it's basically a simple method it's called fill everything in <laughs> um so if you guys fill everything in the idea is that nothing can spawn inside of a block so basically that was my general thinking so if you guys are really worried about spider spawning or spiders do spawn i mean you guys could do renovations and rip up the flooring and just add this in but again I don't really need to uh, do this. I'm just showing you guys what you guys can do to b have more protective measures um, because, you know, some people are really making sure that nothing ever spawns. And I just wanted for those people to know that I got you, I got your back. You know, I won't let anything spawn. So basically, I'm just going to quickly do this and it also start at a rain, which is kind of annoying for me but it's whatever I'll just continue but after I do this right here and I have to do one more thing um, I'm gonna go into speed build mode and show how to do this if you guys are not completely sure on how to do this once again I'll also before I go into speed build mode mark out the next area where the roof will be just so you guys have another idea so to know where it starts and then if you guys are having problems after that, just rewind the video and watch what I just did over again. And it should explain how to do the video, I would hope so, enough to make sure that you guys can figure it out on, on your own. 
also watch this me doing the speed build and then I'll also show you guys what I'm doing because it is fast but at the same time it's slow enough where you guys can actually see what's going on and that's why sometimes I do the speed build just for sometimes for confusing bits and pieces for some people that might get confused because I know I'm one of them people when I'm watching a tutorial I do get confused quite easily and that's why I try to give it as much information as possible when doing tutorials Okay, we do not have that much longer to go. Uh, I think this is, okay, no, maybe not. Maybe we have like a whole nother gap to go. Holy bejeebus of oh, son of Christ. That is a lot. Okay, no, stop. What am I doing? I tend to break a lot of things when I'm doing speed stuff. Okay, so this is gonna be the final gap right here. And then I have to like fill in the two gaps between the uh, glowstone. and bam next thing we got to do is we got to fill in the flooring so just this is the floor for the third floor second floor i don't know i think this is the second floor i'm almost positive it is but this is the flooring that you litter that you walk on i was gonna say that you literally walk on but that would have just sounded stupid but like, it's just the flooring that it's walked on, because technically that's what a floor is. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just being stupid. Um, and, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to come down sideways. I'm actually probably going to wait out the storm before I start the speed build, just because I don't want to annoy you guys with rain. Rain annoys me. I know it annoys like 90% of the Minecraft community. So, I'll just like skip it so that way it doesn't annoy you any further than what it has already annoyed you. We are halfway done with the uh, floor um, and all I got to do after this is show you guys how to mark it out and like I said before watch the speed build if you don't understand watch the tutorial over again um, but after that basically after the speed build starts you really don't have to watch the video anymore you can go because this is technically the end of the tutorial um, I will not be speaking anymore and then after the speed build is over my outro will come out which is you know gives all my link information to everything that you guys might want to know uh for social media and stuff like that and how to reach me but so after this is basically done if you guys are ready to go so thank you guys for watching this video it really means a lot to me and i'm glad that to have you guys for episode 62 if you guys do not or have never seen a video or you guys don't even know where to begin to start this the series uh, go to episode 1 and it gives you all the information you guys need on how to start the series and just watch all 62 episodes. Help me out and share with your friends, you know, just spread the word and spread the love. But I'm almost done with this part and then I can go on to the next part to show how the next step would go and I think it's pretty easy to do. It should be pretty easy. I'm almost confident it's pretty easy. And we just have to do this one thing that I'm standing on, and then we are done. Okay, it's not going down. Okay, why isn't... Okay, there we go. Okay, so basically, right spanking there. Okay, so it's just basically the block above the glass. So it's very easy to do. Again, guys, thank you guys. I'm going to go into speed build mode now. Bye, guys.
Thank you. 